Hi everybody, this is Eric from Switched, and today we're going to be adapting the Bee Poppity Whale. Now this toy is uh, pretty easy to adapt. The, the hardest thing is just kind of getting into it. There's a lot of screws, but if you can solder a few wires together, it shouldn't give you any problems at all. So here's the toy before we adapt it. Basically what we're going to be doing is taking that starfish button and making that into our 3.5mm headphone jack. So the first thing we need to do is remove all the screws and there are a bunch and they are a little cheap so be careful when you are unscrewing them that you don't strip them. Once all the screws have been removed, go ahead and lift the top of the whale off and there's one wire that we need to disconnect. It's basically the wire that's going to that starfish and there's just a little connector there. Go ahead and give it a little tug and a little wiggle and it'll come right out. And that wire is going to be the wire that we are going to be connecting our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So using some wire cutters, go ahead and snip off that connector and then strip down each of the wires and get those wires ready for our soldering. Next we need to drill our hole for our 3.5mm headphone jack to fit through. A good place is right above the whale's fin. Go ahead and use your 5 30 second drill bit or the drill bit that best fits your 3.5mm headphone jack and fish your headphone jack through the hole. And you want to make sure that your wire is long enough to reach and that you have plenty to work with. Once your wire is in place, go ahead and secure it with a zip tie and this will just keep it from being accidentally pulled out from the toy. So now it's time to solder our wires together. You're just going to connect one wire from your 3.5mm headphone jack to each of the wires that we cut from the starfish. Once the wire is soldered, go ahead and slip on a heat shrink wire cover. If you don't have one, go ahead and use electrical tape. You just want to make sure that we block the uh, wires from touching each other and making a false connection. For good measure, we just heat shrinked all the wires together just, just for extra security um, so that they don't come unraveled or get pulled or tugged or anything like that. Completely optional. If you don't have heat shrink wire covers, just use electrical tape. That will work just fine. Once we're done soldering our wires, go ahead and just place the top back on the toy. And we are going to give it a test just to make sure all of our soldering points are good. Connect your button, give it a press, and if it operates normally, you are all set. And you can go ahead and start re-screwing in all of those screws. Also keep in mind, if your stop button fell out while we remove the top cover, you want to make sure that that gets back into place before you screw on the top. go ahead and start screwing in all of those screws and remember that they are cheap so don't over tighten you will strip them out and if for some reason something happens you need to get back in the toy it, it just makes it a whole lot harder to do so so just when you're screwing everything back in just be mindful not to strip the screws You will also want to note that there are three screws that have a, a larger head, and those are for the three most front screws on the outside. And once all those screws are screwed back in, you are all done. Switched. Adapted toys. Making play possible. For more information and additional toy manuals, visit us online at www.switchtoys.org.